Hi everybody, it's Velvet. Um, today I have a pretty big Timu haul. It's actually two hauls in one. Well, it's two orders in one. So I am just going to bring my big orange bag up here. And let me get started. So I have these napkins. They're very pretty. I suspect that they are the same on every corner. So let me just check and see. Yep. Yeah. So it's a uh, repeat print. It's lovely though. It's got the pockmarking, but that's okay. Once you decoupage, you really can't see that. So I'm pleased with that. I have a small piece of fabric that hopefully... Sorry, I didn't take these out of the package first. Um, this I was hoping would fit a book to make a cover, and it looks like it will. So that's the inside, and that's what it looks on the like on the outside. Can you see the gold in there? There's some gold. <laughs> so this is pretty. <clears throat> I do have signatures ready for a, another blue journal, so I may use. May end up using this. Um, this is some more fabric. It's black and white. Um, very much like a couple of the others that I had gotten. I am so sorry for the noise. I know that that annoys people. Um, so we've got the stars, the plaid, floral, big polka dots. Stripes, small polka dots, and then the back one is another floral. I think I have two other colors, blue and I can't remember, yellow maybe. Very pretty. Um, let's see. More napkins. These will, of course, be the same on all four corners, so I'm not going to bother opening them. But I thought, uh, you know, pulling these images out or decoupage would be nice. Now this is a funny one. These are actually papers to go in um, your air fryer. They fit our Ninja perfectly, but I got them for <laughs> junk journaling. Um, I thought... So it's like, it's thin like deli paper, but I thought they might make kind of cool pockets and tucks with the holes on it so you could see what's in the pocket. So, you know, I may put a couple upstairs to use an air fryer, um, but the rest are mine. And they were very inexpensive. Um, this is kind of the same thing. These are, um, oh, it's not that kind of plastic, so let's do this. Yeah, just, I'm not sure it wants to open that way, so I'll do that. So this is, again, some deli paper. I think it's to put um, in the oven. I can't remember what it said it was for. Anyway, I thought they were kind of cool um, for stamping on. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I use these. Again, very inexpensive. Um, I got some more of these. <laughs> I got the white for upstairs in our fridge. And then I got these um, just to have as a backup. I like how they protected my work area from splatters and stuff. The only thing is that they have these bubbles on them. And everything you do shows up. Um, but for rubbings and stuff like that... Very cool. But I wanted them down here because they're so inexpensive. And by the way, they work nice in the fridge too. So if you want to use them for their original purpose, that's cool. Um, another stencil. I hope I didn't already buy this one. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, more stencils. And these are, these are kind of more like masks because they don't have the outside border. 
So um, if you watched one of my recent, um, if you watched one of my recent videos, I showed how I was um, stenciling on the second and third ply of napkins that you pull off when you're decoupaging. And I thought this might be kind of cool. So I'm just putting this down. I should put the pink thing down. Um, just so you can see what the actual stencil looks like. And they seem pretty sturdy. So I'm really not terribly worried about them ripping apart. I like that one. That's pretty cool. There's some leaves. The other thing is these would be great for coffee dyeing papers too. And envelopes because they're kind of the right size for an envelope, right? It's very dark in here. I have every single light on that I can turn on, but it's a very rainy day here, so I apologize that it's so dark. And then that one. So, yeah, I like these. I can't wait to try some more napkin things. These napkins, I just thought were so cute. They are boho rainbows. I'll show you. So, of course, it's a repeat design. They're just so fun and colorful. It feels like a two-ply, so, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I was just feeling in a colorful mood the day I placed this order, I guess. But fun, fun stuff. Um, I have some more trim. Uh, so this one looks kind of soft. Noise, noise, noise. I'm sorry. I kind of wish they didn't ship it like that, but it protects it. So, so this is nice. This is, you know, a few yards anyway. That looks so pretty on a junk journal. You could even use it to close it, you know, tie it. That That's really pretty. I'm impressed. I got myself a clear ruler because I needed one. <laughs> um, just so I could see through to what I was doing. And this was so inexpensive. Just so much more in inexpensive than what you would get in one of the big box stores, I think. So. Let's see. Okay, so this is steampunk stuff. Um, I had so much steampunk stuff left over from my ju junk journal that I just made um, <clears throat> that I thought I would get um, some more papers to go with them. This is so cute. This, oh, this absolutely can get glued into a book and used as an envelope. Isn't that adorable? Love it. These are very thin paper. Oh, now that, that is vellum. They are not all vellum. That's vellum. I don't think they're all vellum. No, that is paper. Paper, vellum. Vellum. So it looks like you get one piece of vellum and one piece of paper for each design. So far, that's what it's looking like. Paper, paper, vellum. Yeah, that's really nice. The paper is really thin, um, but I like that for making um, envelopes and tucks. Very nice. Yeah, I like those. So I have to put these with my other steampunk stuff uh, so that I can get going on, on on the second one. I did sell my first steampunk journal just yesterday, I believe. Uh, this is a roll of edging paper for when you're baking. But, of course, my mind goes to... I'm just trying to figure out how to, the best way to open this box... Uh, my mind goes to, there we go, um, like paper strips or fabric strips, kind of just a backing, 
So if you want to put it down with just a little bit of glue before sewing, that's nice. And there's a lot. <laughs> and it wasn't expensive. Like if a name brand came out with something like this, <clears throat> excuse me, for, whoa, 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 for junk journaling, you know it would cost a fortune, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. I'll put it back in here so it doesn't unravel. Please do that. Um, okay, so this is this is something I just decided to experiment with because they were so inexpensive. They're like um, tea bags if you use like loose loose tea leaves. Um, but I thought they might be able to be used in junk journals. They are like, I can't describe the, um, it's not quite paper and it's not quite fabric, but imagine these coffee dyed and, um, maybe pulled apart at the seam and stamped. I don't know. There's like, there's 500 in here. Um, but I am definitely going to do some experimenting on these. I think that's going to be cool. Here is a huge roll of... The, wow, this is really, really big. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Oh, plastic, plastic, and more plastic. Oh, let's see what we got here. So, Oh, that's really nice. I love how wide it is. If you want to kind of wrap it around a journal. Can you see that? Okay. I'm just standing up to make sure you can see it. Okay. That is so pretty. I think that's about six inches wide and there is a lot on here. Oh, this is going to be fun to work with. Fun, fun. Oh, that's a hair clip. You don't care about that. I have long hair. So, <laughs> um, let's see, this is an applique. I've been watching some, um, videos and some Instagram posts where people use a lot of fabric and a lot of appliques and lace in their journals. So I thought, well, I'm going to get myself a few of these. This is pretty. So pretty. I'll show you kind of close. That's nice. Very nice. Um, and the price was right, of course. What else have we got? Oh, look at how cute these little ladies are. They're those fashion ladies on the acrylic. They call it PET sticker pack. There's 40 little ladies in there. All dressed to the nines. Oh, I'm getting a glare. I'm sorry. Let me just take one out so you can see it. There we go. Isn't she pretty? I've got to start using these things because I love them so much. What I think I need to do is um, do some clusters and uh, decorate some tags and stuff and start using those. So this is just a, it's a quilt clip. I don't quilt. Um, but I thought this would be really cool if you're trying to hold something in place on a on a journal that you've just glued and these little clips are don't go in far enough so that would only go in that far but this goes in that far so if you've glued something over here it would hold it and I find that um, I do that with my junk journals I you know I I glue everything in and then I just I just want to be sure that I can um, hold it in place until it's dry Let's see. We've got another watercolor pad. I will open this so you can see. These are very inexpensive um, from Timu. So, it's pretty thin paper. It's soft, it's got a texture to it. So, it's definitely cold press. Um, 
it doesn't have a perforation. So you know, this is the kind of thing that you would want to keep the book completely intact or cut. Um, I don't know if I can get close enough. So yeah, I think you can see the texture there. So um, yeah, this is nice. And if you do eight and a half by 11, you could actually cut this down. Um, in fact, if you were to fold it like that, that would make a good size for a, for a junk journal if you wanted to put in some watercolor paper. So that's a good, that's a good deal. Let's see. I have, oh, this is a little storage thing. Um, very inexpensive. I don't know what I can store in it, but I wanted to try it. Again, apologies for this stupid plastic. So it's just a little zippered storage thing that has, so it's see-through. So it's actually, wow, that's pretty tall. Um, off camera, I'm just going to see. It's got a couple of handles. Oh, that could be um, very good for fabric storage. So hopefully you can tell how that looks. So I would say this is a good foot and a half, a foot, foot and a half tall. Um, and I think, I think I am absolutely going to use this for um, fabric storage. And it doesn't look bad. And if you do use it for fabric storage, there's no reason why you can't um, place stuff on top of it because if you put it in nice and neat, it won't be all wobbly. So yeah, I would call that a good, a good buy. Let's see, we're getting down to the wire here. These are just more, um, clips. They are quilting clips, but I am always needing clips. It seems, um, to hold signatures together. Mm. Um, that's nice how it looks here. It goes in just a little bit further than these clips do. Yeah, well, twice as far. So that's good. And it's fairly soft, so I'll bet you it doesn't leave a mark either. And I think there's 20 in here, so I should never complain about not having en enough clips again. Just saying. <laughs> these have been in my cart forever. And again, they're just nice and cheerful. They've got those pock marks. I know I say it all the time that I can't stand the pock marks, but like I said, I've used the ones with those, and you can't tell when you're decoupaging. So now, if you were putting these, if you were decoupaging these on like a glass bottle or something, you might be able to tell. But when I'm doing like a collage background or something, um, I can't usually tell the difference. So. Very fun, very colorful, cheerful spring, spring-like. I guess I'm, I've got some spring fever. That might be what's going on with me right now. <laughs> spring fever. All right, so these are just some little doodads. That's what I'm gonna call them, they're doodads. Um, just little decorative things that I wanted to get for if I do, um, so it's all together, but you, you know, you cut them apart. Or you could use as is. Um, you know, you could kind of go down the side of a journal cover with that, add a little bling without it being too, um, thick. So, and it looks like they'll glue down nicely because the back has that nice circle in, in there. So, oh yeah, these are really cute. More of this, um, burlap trim. I love the burlap trim that they sell. I think I've only used a couple, but I like it, and I like the designs on these. I have to you do like a burgundy floral journal or something, but now see, that doesn't feel like burlap. That is something different, but I don't care. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And then I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's a little silicone thing. This, um, this I think was also, oh, you know what this is? This is a steamer basket, basket thing. Um, but I got it because 
I wanted to try it on the gel plate because of all those little circles and when I'm coffee dyeing. So I thought that would be cool. And if it doesn't work for me, it's silicone. So you could also use it as a trivet. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, other than that, what else have I been up to? Oh, I printed a whole bunch of my digitals off of my Etsy. Hopefully you can see those okay. Um, so these, this is one, this is a, a package of digis that I have on Etsy. So I wanted to print these so that I could actually use my own stuff <laughs> instead of other people's. So these are basic, I, I printed them on the presentation paper. So they're thicker. You could make tags out of, out of some of these. I mean, these would be nice small tags, um, or journaling spots. These could easily be journaling spots. And I printed on the background, or I printed on the back um, something light so you could print uh, right on them. Jeez. So these are just some old, really old postcards. Um, these are not four by six. I printed them uh, smaller than four by six, but it would be very easy to print these four by six. But again, these could be awesome journal um, spots or tucks. And then just some old um, photos. Everything here is copyright free, so they're in the public domain. I just kind of put them all together and I just love the look of the old photos and thought they'd be fun. I love some of these old ads. Oh, just love them. Does your wife have automobile nerves? She should take Dr. Miles Nerving. Don't be too hard on your wife when she tries to be a backseat driver. She probably is not trying to boss you, and she doesn't realize how her constant suggestions take from the pleasure of the trip. Chances are she is just plain nervous. So drug your wife up before you go on a road trip, basically. But it's funny. It's just funny. Same thing here. Bile beans for biliousness. <laughs> Oh goodness. It's just, um, it's just funny. And I just love, you can tell how old these ads are. So fun. I like that. Um, a small version of a poster for an event. <clears throat> just fun. Jello ice cream prep powder. Do you know, Jell-O was founded in the town next to mine, <laughs> where I live. <laughs> There's a museum and everything. Um, these are just things that you can, you know, put in your journal. You could use as a, a page, as a tuck, as part of your cover. And then I love all these little things. So this is all, my, this is my people page. Add some things with people. And then one last thing to show you, and it's my next junk journal, I think. It's just the other day I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something creative, and I just wasn't feeling it. So I took an old book that I had gutted, and I just um, covered it with fabric. Nice, So it's nice and sturdy. The spine is actually quite sturdy, despite how it looks. I will, of course, cover this, but... Um, the width of the fabric was just enough to go here. And then I will, of course, add something over top of these. Probably a pocket with vellum or something, but yeah, I like that. And it's got a very thin spine, so I think this is going to be um, another two-signature junk journal. But anyway... Okay, that is what I had for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in, for hitting the like button and subscribing. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Thanks. Bye-bye.